Hello, hello, my dear warriors. If you thought that your marks are less in your 12th standard board examination, or maybe you just missed that 75% eligibility criteria by few marks, or maybe you had a target in mind and you missed the target by small amount, I have some really good news that I want to share with all of you. And that is boards is now giving you a window, an opportunity to increase or reevaluate your marks that you have obtained for all the 12 standard CBSE board, uh, you know, students. So let me straight away dive into the circular, which is official. I will be sharing the link as well in the description box, as well as maybe in the comments as well. So I will just go through each point one by one. You can also keep it open on the side so that I can explain you all the important pointers or else it will take you a lot of time. So first of all, basically they start by saying that there were so many students and how the evaluation process was done, you know, uh, keeping in mind the policies, several steps were taken, no staff was overburdened and, you know, only senior teachers were taking part in the evaluation process. So all these things they have taken care of. So most likely, you know, they would have given you the right marks, but obviously we are all humans. So definitely there are chances of errors. Now there are three situations under which you will be awarded marks. Okay. Or basically your marks will be reevaluated. So what are those situations? Look at that. The first one is, you know, verification of marks, meaning maybe the totaling is wrong or maybe the marks were incorrectly mentioned or maybe, you know, they just didn't consider one question for some reason. Second is obtaining the photocopy of your answer book. So you want to see what you have written and whether it is matching with the model key or the students who have got the more marks. Then the last one is re-evaluation of answers. That means you feel that your answers are right, but maybe you think that maybe you have lost marks in some or the other question. So these are the three scenarios under which your marks will be evaluated. And if you are loving this news, I hope you have smashed the like button and you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe as well as smash the like button because you're going to get all such amazing news and updates on this channel regularly. Now, going ahead, these requests, all right, will be accepted in only online mode and the window for that, I will show it to you in a moment. Remember one thing, guys, many students might be thinking that, oh, do I have to submit this form somewhere in the school? No, everything will be online. The link, everything I'll be putting it up in the description box and it is also there in the circular. So everything is online. You don't have to worry about it. Now there is, there is one catch. And like many students might be thinking at this moment, sir, what if my marks reduce, <laughs> right? <laughs> that is also a possibility. So first of all, let me show you that once you apply for this particular revaluation, there is no second opportunity which is given to you. So there is only one chance. Board will not be responsible for any consequence due to revision of marks or delay in the process for any reason. Decrease even by one mark shall be affected. In cases where there is a change in marks, both increase or decrease, such candidates shall have to surrender the mark sheet come certificate which is in their position thereby and they will be issued a new mark sheet. So understand this process will only happen once and this process can have both the consequences. Maybe in some questions your marks increase, maybe in some other questions your mark decrease. If it decreases, the final decreased marks will be counted. So you need to be really careful and these uh, charges that you pay are non-refundable and you cannot apply for the second opportunity. Okay. So then they have talked about, you know, different uh, scenarios of how the marks will be verified and all of that. And uh, only those students who will apply for the marks verification will be eligible to, uh, you know, obtain the photocopy of their answer book. So if you have applied for revaluation, re it's obvious that you should get a photocopy so that you know that really, you know, uh, things have been done in the right manner. Okay. So there is a processing charge of 700 rupees per subject 
for the class 12th board examination. You can see that right over here. And then uh, there are uh, other things mentioned over here and all these other legalities like the photocopy of the answer book will be provided under the ITI Act 2005, which is uh, understood and uh, a request for verification or re-evaluation cannot be made. So remember this opportunity is only once. Okay. Now the most important part, the application for this re-evaluation starts on 16th May and ends on 20th of May. So guys, be really, really careful. Okay, so you should not miss this deadline. And there is 500 rupees per subject that you need to pay apart from, uh, you know, getting that answer book for rupees 700 rupees. All right. So that is the charges for this. And that is the timeline that uh, you should be looking at. So make sure you think properly and see whether really you need to evaluate because there is a chance of your marks reducing as well. Okay, be careful. But if you really feel that yes, my marks will increase even if one or two places it might decrease by one mark, then please go ahead with it and make sure your marks are above your current score. And maybe you hit the target. How did you find this news guys? Do let me know in the comments and do not forget to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Captain Shreya signing off. Hasta la vista.